This is Marco Wu from eProgram.com. I'm going to give you a very brief presentation of uh, what is MATLAB and talk about the structure of MATLAB and a few common simple functions of MATLAB. So MATLAB, MATLAB basically is a very huge big program. It has many many modules, small modules, but mainly the MATLAB include the MATLAB and also another big module called Simulink. Inside MATLAB, there are many toolbars. MATLAB itself is mainly used for offline data analysis. That means it does not do the data collection. Well, or it's seldom used for data collection. However, the Simulink module, if you use it for data collection, because uh, when the simulating module work with the real time workshop, it can which is one of the toolbox in simulating, which can do a uh, high frequency data corrections. Uh, in MATLAB, there are so many toolbox. They uh, have like many different functions. For example, curve fitting toolbox, fuzzy logic toolbox. MATLAB have uh, a few different windows. Command windows, the current directory windows, and the command history windows. So many people want to know, or they don't know how to find out what is the version of your MATLAB. What you can do is type VGR in the command window, and then press Enter. It will list out all the toolbox you have and the version of your MATLAB. Sometimes, for the beginner, they always face a question. My MATLAB layout does not similar to yours. How can I follow what you do? You go to a MATLAB. At the top of your MATLAB, you will see work desktop. You select desktop and then find desktop layout choose default. So the next thing is well I know how to do some simple calculation using MATLAB. And it really very messy because I, I see many command in the command window and I see there are so many stuff in the memory which is so many stuff I somehow I want to clean it up what you can do there are a few good functions which you have to know and memorize CLC function is used to clean up your command window home function you should send the cursor back to home, but that is not going to clear your command window. Clear function, which is clear all the variables in your memory. So, when you use MATLAB, you want to know like, which file is belong to MATLAB. Which file type is belong to MATLAB. So you can you can identify them not only by icon but also you can identify them by extension. MATLAB have so many file types associated with with it. How the dot M file is stand for the MATLAB code. So when you write up a MATLAB program you save it and it will be function dot M or program name dot m dot match file m a t file which is the standard way how the MATLAB saves the data um, dot f i g file which is create a figure MATLAB use it use the function create figure and then save it in dot f i g file you may want to know hey how does FIG file different from JPEG, different from bitmap. Uh, the difference is FIG file is storing the data point. The bitmap 
or JPEG destroying the image. In other words, if you have a FIT file, you can, if you just only have this file, you can do some command and then transfer the curve back to data point and do the analysis. Um, another one would be .mdl file, which is specific for the simulating model. So, you may also want to know how, how many different data type or file can um, MATLAB handle. There's so many, many. But there are a few which is very common, Excel file. There are, there are many Excel functions in MATLAB. You can basically you can do everything in Excel by using MATLAB. Image file. Um, MATLAB have a very good image processing toolbox, and there are so many different types of image file uh, MATLAB can handle like JPEG, bitmap, text file. Text file is just very common, and that is one of the uh, basic files that most of the program can be handled, including MATLAB. OK, we talked about MATLAB for a lot. So you may want to know how can we call Simulink. We talk about MATLAB is a big stuff, and Simulink is one of the biggest module. So if you go to your MATLAB, you can ha you have two ways to call Simulink out. First way is in the command window, type Simulink, or under your MATLAB, you see the at the top left corner, there are a few icons. And one of them, if you click on it, you can see the picture right now. Click on that icon, you call out Simulink. So what is the most useful function in MATLAB from my point of view? That would be the health function. You may want to ask why. Because the health function really tells you what is the function of the other function? For example, if you type help, port, it will list out the function of the port function. How it will explain what the port function does, and the most important thing is, it will also show C also. When you see the C also, you will you will know what is other function you may want to know if you are using the port function. That is not the only thing. There is one check. If you know there is a function, let's say port, but you are not sure about the names, you can type help and then PL. After that, Press the tab key. Don't press enter key. Tap, press the tab key. It will pop up a list of functions which start from PL. And then you can select which one you want to see. You want to learn about meta programming, but you don't know where to go, any free resources. Uh, there are a few I recommend, which is the first one is uh, our YouTube channel, Yi Programmer. Uh, we have many, many MATLAB tutorial. Currently, we have more than 30 tutorial in YouTube. And you can also go to our website, www.eeprogrammer.com. 